Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert Thomas and Nishan. I am a final year pharmacy student at St. John's University. And in today's video, I want to go over some of the major mistakes that I have made and I also see a lot of other people making when studying for pharmacy school exams. And then I also, after I want to go over these problems, I want to actually go over some of the ways I tackle these issues so that you guys get some ideas or perspectives of how to actually tackle these issues yourself when you're going through the exam phase um, that comes up regardless for every single person. So the first major problem I see a lot of people making is having study procrastination, or I like to call it study inertia. And the reason why I call it that is because um, the main problem that most people have is that they, do, they when you know you have to study, but you don't want to study, which happens to every single person, no matter what. And the reason I call it study inertia is because once you get past that initial hurdle of studying just a couple of minutes or so, it becomes a whole lot easier to just keep on studying by yourself. But if you don't get to that first initial hurdle, then you won't study. So for me, I, I had an anatomy textbook. So I studied anatomy and I had this giant textbook and every time I got a textbook, I was like, I do not want to study at all. I really do not want to study. And then when I actually took the time to be like, okay, let me just study for like 10 minutes and look at just the pictures only. So when I looked at only the pictures, it became a lot easier for me to just study 10 minutes. And then after that, I was like, okay, after studying the pictures, I would look at some of the words on the pictures and then some of the structures. And then after I studied those things, I would actually look at the actual paragraphs and actually start re uh, reading the book. So once you get past that, like the initial 10 minutes, it becomes a lot easier to study for 30 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour. So this concept is actually called Make It Easy. This is from the book Atomic Habits, which is a great book. Uh, actually how to build habits, like strong habits, and then actually how to break bad habits. So I highly recommend this book, but this is one of the main concepts that I got from this book and I use it all the time for every single thing I'm doing. So the second major problem that a lot of people have is study routine we're going to talk about in every single video. But today I actually want to share how I actually came up with the concept of studying uh, two, three hours and how I built my own study routine. So the reason why I actually built this concept up was because when I was studying my fourth year of pharmacy school, we have these exams that literally count for basically half your grade, like 50% of your grade. And I remember I was studying for it and I was studying hard for it, obviously, with my roommate, I was studying it. And then after we took the exam, I was physically exhausted, you know, because you're studying so hard for this one exam that literally can make a break, literally like the class. And then after that, I was, I just took a break the rest of the day, but I had an exam the next day. And then my roommate, um, as opposed to me, who didn't take a break, studied for just an hour, you know, after the exam for the next test. And then for the next day after that, I had to study literally another full day to study for another exam. And when it came up, my roommate didn't have to study as much. So then when the exam came up, he got a lot better grade than me on the second exam. So after that, I realized, okay, this is something that I need to actually work on. I need to work on making a minimum amount of study time for myself. So that way I don't get actually burnt out over time. And the reason why this is actually an important concept is because um, it helps you actually retain information. You know, when you study a little bit every single day, it actually retains a lot better than if you cram all the information in one day. And also it set me up really, really well because on days where I had to study for a long period of time, that was good. But the days I didn't want to study, I would just say to myself, okay, just study two hours a little bit. And that set up a good baseline for myself. So I always had at least this baseline of just two hours and then, or three hours. And then I always had these like maximum of whatever, you know, six hours, eight hours. But that over time led to amazing results for me once I got to that certain point of studying. And I just didn't have to worry as much about like always feeling that, that anxiety, you know, of studying and the study procrastination. So those two things alone just pair very well together. The study procrastination and having that great study routine. And the last major mistake that a lot of people make, including myself, is understanding fundamental principles. And this is actually a concept I got from Elon Musk. And he actually uses to actually like learn a lot of different um, complex things. And every time he learns anything, he always tries to relate it back to a fundamental principle. And this is very important in pharmacy school as well, because you know, when you get to the advanced level courses, you're gonna have to constantly try to memorize all these complex things. And if you don't understand the basic uh, principle behind it, that can actually like stick them together. It's gonna be very hard for you to learn over time. So that's why I always, even to this day, I spend time just learning the, the basics of stuff. I watch old videos that, um, of uh, disease states. And then now, even when I'm on rotation now, when I'm counseling patients, it's very important for me to understand the basic disease states and how the drug works. So that way I can explain to the patient, you know, a complex thing that no one else can explain to them, 
how to make it as easy as possible for them to digest and understand it so that they can actually understand what's going on and how important this is for themselves and their health. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.